But now let's do some Ghana Premier League stories where House of Oak left it late at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium as Kojo Obin Jr. equalized for the four wins with a minute left to play. Obin Jr.'s one-time volley crept into the net after a long pass from Fatal Mohamed. The draw means Samuel Bodu's men just need three more points from their last two games to win the league title. The Fabians obviously in confident mood. Go in and do this. Salif Ibrahim's going to have to head her onto the side post. Throw in again. Afutu! Kosa and Simon Mate, all of them showing the desire. It looks like it's Kosa! It's a goal! That is it, Juma Kosa! Breaks the deadlock! Brilliant goal! Crowd in front of him. And from this angle, right, there, the boy is moving through bodies into the wound work, into the back of the net. But he needed this. It's their captain, it's their skipper. With a golden goal, with a brilliant strike. It's a freaking that. Richard Atta can't see. Buka lights up for a shot. Abuka! Good save from goalkeeper Bright Cray. Fatal's ball in. Abin Jr. That's the equalizer. Kojo Abin Jr. Equalizes for the Phobians. And that flick on by Afuti. Abin Jr. just gets just a very... You know, okay connection on the ball. Goalkeeper Bright Square would be disappointed. I think he should be doing better with that. And Obin Jr. might just have snatched the points from this game for hearts of folk. Deep, deep into stopping time to put their hands firmly back on the title and keep the chase for the title very much in their favor. Captain Fatal spoil into a footy. And Obin Jr. does the rest, but I think goalkeeper should be doing a lot better here. He should be. Hearts of Oak, they do their game, and prior to their game, Asante Kotoko had to come up against Kim Faisal. They had a plethora of opportunities of beating the Porcupine Warriors, but unfortunately, Asante Kotoko also left it late to pull a parity as that game also ended 1-1. Now what do do? Lovely bottle, Morrison. Can Faisal moving into enemy territory with so much confidence? Can they get an opener? And Kumasi Can Faisal are up by one go to nil against Kumasi Asante Kotakosu. Barry Ibrahim breaking the deadlock on the 15 minute mark of the game. Puts in a very good ball, but it's Frimpong who's not aware of the danger in behind him. And once his man gets ahead of him to Barry, Frimpong can't make the contact because the least contact that comes is going to be a penalty. But for the fact that he wasn't aware of his man in behind him is where the, the problem is. Lovely stop from Kwame Pipra. Now he's up against Apeo. The Faisal captain cuts back. He goes down. Earlier incident where the appeals for the penalty is very powerful round about Kwame Pipra. He wants to check the ball back there. Apeo, look at the hand across the chest. It's a penalty all day long. What do this ball for? Pepra, can he get a second run? Sapamiba, how? The woodwork. Very make the save this time, but that was a glorious opportunity here. But take a look at the movement of Kam Pepra and the pass from Wadudu. Pretty a movement in behind up hill. That's everything right here with the first touch, but just there. At the time he's trying to take the effort, there's a little bit of a bounce before he takes the effort. And the ball goes straight into the woodwork. So, so unlucky Kam Pepra. But take a look at this, just that bounce there. Immoral's delivery. Dunlad fails to save, and that's the equalizer. Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Says from Kim Faisal. So that's the delivery from Imoro. Yeah, that's the ball that comes into the box here. But it's an interesting one. They're calling for a foul. The ball gets in behind Dunlad. That is the head that goes into, into the back of the net. Dunlad fails to make the catch. Yeah, he does fail to make the catch. And this time, he doesn't get his judgment right.